parlayhelp.com. Email address is parlayhelp at gmail.com. The info at parlayhelp.com email address will be officially nuked as of tomorrow. And the website will be changing in two weeks. Thanks to Chris Perillo, live.perillo.com. If you're not a tech geek, you don't care, so that's fine. But uh, it's a WordPress template, and I'm getting it free. And I'm excited about it, because the whole site's going to change. And yes, I am putting up a chat form. So I've seen many, many times during the games, guys type in forms, this one types, and that one types. And it's this game, and that game, and who had two on, and one out, and blew it. You'll be able to chat live. I'm going to put it up. If you use it, you use it. You don't, you know, things that need to be addressed. And that's what this video is about. The daily report will be underneath this one on my website. And I'm not pointing in the box and asking you for my email, so don't accuse me of being that guy. Someinvestornetwork.com. So, email address goes away tomorrow. Info at parlayhelp.com is dead. Until I switch hosts. Thanks for all the comments on advertising. Apparently on YouTube you can catch the old videos. I never delete any of them, nor the comments. And um, I've chosen not to put that banner up because I don't use that service and I'm not going to do that. So that's that. Um, I was also asked to shorten the video and can you get it up earlier? Can I shorten it? Yes. But you guys asked for the weekly report, so it's going to be a little longer. Can I get the video up earlier? No. Because the game's don't end until 1, 1.30, and then by the time extra innings and everything, it's 2. So consider me like your morning routine. Go have your coffee. You don't drink coffee. Coke, Pepsi, drink water, drink that. Read the paper. Not that anybody reads the paper anymore. Put me on in the background. You don't need to see this face. Just click it and let it go you can hear my voice and it'll tell you who's hot and who's not some controversy over my winner of the week and winning percentages he picked the most games he had the best percentage of the most games and I also do a dimes or dollars take the zeros off or add a zero that's fine and right now winner of the week could be the kiss of death or the biggest jinx in the world so be glad you weren't that why am I doing this? Because sports, thesportsmonitor.com has been doing it for years. That's a joke. So sportseye.com. That's all tied in in Vegas. I do this free. You don't want to watch it? This little X, click it. Go away. Go away. I'm telling you, that crap is fixed. It's just like the Budin. It's and no, I'm not doing any more booting. Well, maybe. But it's not going to be a regular thing. Thanks for all the emails on that, too. I'm glad everybody thought it was hysterical. Uh, there's a few more things to address. What else was on here? I do want to talk about the Lakers and the Twins game. That might be it. Oh! Thank you, Dave. I'm not going to say his last name or his email address. I can take constructive criticism. I label the site, Parlay Help, your sports betting internet community, so your feedback is important to me. And this guy made a really good point. He's like, you have your big five, five and a half, you call it. The half comes from easy winners because they're part of it, but what they have on their website's not jiving what they email me. So I'm actually going to cut them out, just call it the big five. The Basher, BookieBasherSports.com, website matches what I do daily. He mentions that he's monitored by me. Pete James, PartlyPeteSports.com, website matches what I have, mentions. I monitor him. Not that you have to. Ace, Vegas Runner, site matches what I have. Pride Side Investments, matches what I have. Bobby Clark Sports, matches what I have. Easy Winners, doesn't. I'm not saying they're lying. Just, it's not what I have. You take that for what it's worth. It's your money picking a handicapper. 
Last point to address. Lakers and Twins. Big, big, big plays of the night. I don't know what happened to the Twins. Gave up a grand slam and that game was over. Hate the saying, but I use it. it is what it is. Done. Lakers. Did you have the Spurs tonight? You are lucky. Because the Lakers were coming. And whoever, number 20, 21, is on the Lakers. And don't email me. I'll be told what college, how tall he is, how many kids he has. I don't care. And they don't care in the NBA about point spreads. He blew that spread. I watched him earlier get thrown out of a game on a fragrant foul. Phil Jackson should just keep him on the bench for the rest of the series because he blew that spread. They were up by three or four, and the momentum switched. And don't tell me momentum doesn't matter because it does. It matters a lot. And Kobe, somebody lit a match and went on fire. They're up by four. They get the ball back. Kobe passes it to somebody, maybe it was Fisher or whatever, passes it to him, and ride Kobe at that point. He shoots, misses, then goes down the other end, where this friggin' 21 is, and commits a bad foul against Tim Duncan. That was a six-point swing right there. Not saying they're going to get the stop on the Spurs and go up by eight. He screwed you. On the spread. He did. Alright. Done ranting. That's what I had to address. Parlayhelp.com. Email. Parlayhelp at gmail.com. That almost rhymes. Your sports betting internet community. Daily Report. Coming up next. <laughs> 